switches. They come in all different sizes, shapes, configurations, all from the wall switch in your wall to the pull chain in the ceiling fan, to toggle switches and appliances, to uh, push buttons that you may find like in the elevator or to the old nice switch. There are many other type switches but for today's uh, demonstration I'm going to be using the nice switch for visual reasons. First of all I'm going to explore the uh, contacts of a switch. This is a normally open momentary switch. Its contacts are apart from each other or open when it's at rest. Here we have a normally closed switch. Its contacts are closed or touching each other when the switch is at rest. If you had a switch, a momentary switch, uh, that had three terminals on it, and it was marked NC, NO, and C, that would mean it had both a normally closed and normally open contacts, and the C being the common. Here's a mnemonic for you. Imagine Farmer Bale had it worried about his cow getting out, wired his light up to a gate, so when the gates closed, the light would come on. The same is true for our switches. When they're closed, power flows through them. Here we have a single pole, single throw switch. It is the simplest of all switches. It's normally used just basically an on or off type switch. Here we have a single pole double throw switch. It is used in different applications like uh, two speeds or on an appliance or whatever or as a uh, three-way switch. Here we have a double pole single throw switch usually basically used as a uh, disconnect. This is a double pole double throw switch. Normally with double pole switches the uh, poles are electrically isolated from each other. This switch here can be used in several different applications from um, uh, four way switches or um, power transfer switches. I'll demonstrate those two uh, applications in just a moment. Here's uh, where we can to use a double pole double throw switch as a uh, four way or a motor reverse switch. First we're going to have to modify it by doing away with two of the terminals. This means that we only have four terminals, external terminals, uh, for connecting wires. Here I'm adding uh, two inner links. I colored one red and the other one blue so you can see they are electrically isolated from each other. This is what uh, makes it possible for you to reverse it. Here you can see power is fed straight through. Now the power is reversed. Here we have a uh, double pole double throw switch being used as a uh, power transfer switch. Here's the house that's connected to the middle of the uh, double throw, double throw, du double pole, double throw. Here's the power plant that's connected to one end. And over here on the other end is the uh, backup generator. It is connected to the other end. This house is currently uh, connected to the utility power. As you can see, if you notice the uh, poles are switched over to the left which is what is allowing power to be fed from the uh, power company to the house. Now it is switched over to the uh, generator. Now you see that uh, power is fed from the generator straight through to the house. One of the things about this uh, design is that it totally isolates the two power supplies from each other. So uh, power from the utility plant cannot run in on the generator or 
the generator cannot feed power out on the line and kill a lineman. Here we have a three pole single throw switch. When a switch has more than two poles, a number will be substituted for the S or the D. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial. It is my first Blender uh, video. I have provided some links to other videos of mine after the credits.